Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now, once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views, but I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, today I'm going to do my best to upload about, say, four reactions, and I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So my second reaction of today is going to be Arijit Singh, and I believe this song is called uh, Bohena or, or Bojana. Uh, no, I don't think it's Bojana. It's Bo Yan uh, Bohina. I think I'm going to go for Bohina. Bohina say Bohina. Um, that's the name of the title track by Arajat Sin. I could be wrong on so many different kind of levels and got this 100% wrong on so many different kind of levels. I'm depending on you guys to let me know on the way how to pronounce it. I'm sure that he's going to sing it and I'm going to get it straight away and um, the way how they should be pronounced. But um, let me know. I've been trying to look for a, a live performance. And what I've been doing is getting smacked right into music videos, music movie videos of Arijat Singh rather than his live performances or collaboration. You know, like when you see when you go into the Coke series um, or you go to the, um, sorry, the, the T series or you go into the Coke series or you go in the Nest Cafe basement, you get little live performances. So I want to know, has he done anything live like that, a live performance like that rather than on the um, stage where it was performed by a thousand of people? Is there a, you know, a T series? Is there a, a Coke studio? Is there a Nest Cafe basement where Arijat Singh is performing and I can get all his entire integrity, all his richness um, of a, in a closed area. That would be absolutely amazing uh, if you can let me know on that one. So like I said, that's going to be uh, my next reaction of today. But before that, if this is your first time coming over to my channel, then please go over to my homepage and work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because there's some fantastic, amazing artists which I do not want you to miss out on. And once again, if you like what you see at the end of my music video, please subscribe as well as hit the notification button to indicate to you when my next uploads will be. Now, before I go on to my third reaction of today, I uh, will like to read a couple of your comments. So Cheryl um, Pettis, uh, thank you very much for your amazing comments. Um, Ling Nang, I hope I said your name right. Clad Kerb, um, Herbert, good morning, how are you doing? Um, Boyas Alina, good morning. Uh, for one thing, Julianne is not known as a better. Her genre is really pop and R&B, um, but she can belt too. Julianne is considered a very versatile singer and artist. Uh, actually, she kept the sanity of the song, which obviously um, is a love song. You don't necessarily belt love songs. Um, she did not play safe, really, despite the fact that you repeat that comment several times in the video. Uh, she is already known and an established singer. Right. I know when a person is a woman is playing uh, or a man is playing safe. When you can tell in their vocals that there's a lot more in the trumpet. I'm telling you right now, any strong powerhouse vocal that knows how to sing loud will sing loud. Any person that sings quiet and texture will sing quiet and texture. I believe she had something left in the tank. I believe that that song, what, um, what she carried out, um, 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 your you know your song. I believe that. There's another song out there where she shows her vocal capability. Um, and, I, and I'll gladly react to that. I just feel that that song, what, um, what she sang on the, on the Wish Bus, was not her best song. And I think that you can agree with me on that one. It's a brilliant song, and she sings it and brilliantly, don't get me wrong. But you can tell when a Ferrari is driving at a mini pace, you know? That's what I'm talking about. She's a Ferrari, and she didn't bring that, she didn't... She didn't. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look, anyway, look, let's go straight into my second reaction of today. So I believe this is Arijit Singh um, with Bohinya. Um, Bohinya say Bohinya. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? <sighs> S B F. 
What does that mean? I love the way how he sings so Sing with Bajina and um, say Bajina. And do you know what? He's always got this way of if it's going to be a music, music, music movie video, you know, there's a film where he's, where he's doing the uh, majority of the songs. He can make you watch a film literally by just by him singing the trailer part. He can make you feel like, oh, and he's done it so many times. How many songs has he done where you see his, where his voice uh, meets the trailer? You know, the, 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 the intro of the whole song, the trailer of the songs. And it's a fantastic song, fantastic emphasis. Um, he brings that euphoria within the music, music movie video. And the makes the ex with the M with the M part is warranted for you to go and watch the actual video, um, or what warranted for you to actually watch the mo the movie itself. There's about say three movies that I want to watch just because of what I just sang, sang on the music video, for just what he just done on the music video. It captivates you. It brings you in. It draws you into the storyline. As you know that with his music video, like 
he's singing and then you've got the artist acting or sometimes they might be singing you know miming and um, but they're doing the acting part so there's no words it's just him singing so without the actors even hearing them actually act you already want to see the movie just because of the way how he sung it I, I get it i get it it took me ages but i get it now and there's a number of, like I said, there's a number of films that I'm going to watch. I'm going to check them out on um, on the on the YouTube sites and various other um, platforms as well. I think Share Mega is one of them that I'm going to check out. And there's another one. Um, I think One Two Three Movies that they do it as well. So there's a lot of things to check out off on my weekend, which I am so going to enjoy my weekends and just binging out on a couple of films and just getting some kind of background check on these particular artists. Um, but it's, yeah, I love this song. I love the, um, the storyline behind it as well. First of all, I thought it was a happy-go-lucky film and then the tragedy hit. So uh, to find out the way how it's incorporated and what happens at the end is something that I, is intriguing to me. I want to find out. Um, the song itself, like I said, um, Arjit Singh, you can't fault him in any kind of way. His effortless smile and his effortless, his effortless way to bring the music to the platform, you know, the, the way how he just adds on these textures of his, on these vocals it, without even struggling, without even like, um, I don't know, with, without even breaking a sweat, so to speak. You know, I've seen so many artists that, you know, to get to that note or to get to that riff, you know, they've got to break a bone, <laughs> you know. And then you've got Arijit sit, um, sing on his back with a guitar, just playing it and, you know, just singing out just lovely, you know, just lovely vibes, just kicking it out. Um, for that reason, Arijit sing, I salute you. Absolutely amazing. Really, really is. <laughs>